Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. Today I have a really fun announcement and also a lot of updates for you. And so first I would like to welcome all of our Let's Go family members and also a big welcome to all of you who are new. I really appreciate all of you being here with us and for all you add to our community, so thank you. I would like to invite anyone who hasn't subscribed yet to please consider subscribing to our channel. I think that you will really enjoy being part of our amazing Let's Go family here. So first of all, I wanted to let you know, this is really exciting for me, that I am finally a travel agent. I have wanted to be a travel agent ever since I was little. And um, I've kind of mentioned that I've been working on that and wanting to do that. And I'm finally to the point <laughs> that I'm finally a travel agent, so I'm really excited. Um, I really... Um, I'm so very grateful for this chance. When I started our channel, I wanted to do it, but I couldn't quite figure out um, how that was gonna ever work out. And then our travel agent, Brad, who um, my husband and I have worked with, and he is just amazing, he gave me the chance. And so I just wanna um, thank him and also let you know that um, along with anything that I bring to this, you also get him with it. We're kind of, he's with me here. And um, he is amazing. He has been a travel agent for a very long time. He has extraordinary experience. He has um, been all over the world, sailed on all the different cruise lines um, numerous times. It's just been everywhere, done all the tours. He brings a lot to this. And so I just wanted to let you know that you, if you need a travel agent or want one, um, I'm here. And if you don't, that is entirely cool as well. I'm just going to keep doing what I do with our channel here. And I am really thrilled to be with all of you. And I wanted to let you know that in conjunction with that, um, I have uh, set up a group cruise for our um, Alaska trip that my husband and I have booked. It sails on the Discover nope, on the Royal Princess on May 2nd of 2022, and it's up to Alaska. It's got an amazing itinerary. This will be our fourth time to Alaska, and it goes to several places that we haven't been before, as well as the standard places, and so we're really excited. And then I also, um, oh, and the caveat with that is if for some reason uh, that's right when our grandchildren that we have, they have not been able to come here the whole time of the pandemic and they're still too young to be vaccinated. Um, but when that new vaccine comes, they're coming to grandma's house. And so um, I wanted to add that caveat that um, if that's right, the window they get to be here, we're going to cancel and stay home. I honestly don't see that happening. I think it's a very outside chance that that vaccine is going to be approved and distributed enough so that they can get it and be um, fully vaccinated to come here. But um, you can count on me to always be clean, fully honest with you. And so I wanted to let you know that. But um, um, we also did a group cruise for the um, Love Boat Cruise, October 22nd of 2022, and that one is on the Discovery Princess. And I did that just with the hopes. I thought there might be some of us here who are like my husband and I that couldn't go in February, but you can go in October. And so if anybody wants to ask me anything about that, I'll put my information below and you can email me. I'll put my, it's allison.larson at dreamvacations.com, but you can also just email us at Let's Go Travel Tips if you want to. Let's, let's go travel tips at gmail.com and if you don't want to that is cool and um, the way that I kind of envision group cruises is um, just like as much as you want to get together, um, we can do um, always, I would think that we would want to like maybe like sometimes meet before dinner and have a chance to visit and get to know one another and share what we did. And um, sometimes maybe we would all want to eat together like at a group, like at a big table or go on some of the same excursions. Um, I'm really new to this, so you can tell me what you have in mind too. And, but also I don't want you to think you're stuck with me all the time. I think it's really important that people enjoy their their vacation and have a vacation a little bit too and so um yeah 
And uh, I'm really hoping that um, we'll have a lovely time together on the Alaska cruise. And if some of y'all have that booked, of course, just we are all the Let's Go family, no matter how you book your cruise. And so don't worry about that. We'll all get together and have a fun time. And that's kind of what I see moving forward. And like I said, I'll get better at this, um, planning these, and you can give me your input. And I just really look forward to getting to know you all and you getting the chance to meet each other too. And I'm um, really enjoying being together. So thanks. Now we have some updates today. I wanted to let you know right off that if you've got a Royal um, Caribbean, Royal Caribbean cruise booked or you're thinking about one Royal uh, Caribbean has said that they are going to leave their current masking protocols in place at least until February 14th of 2022. So basically what that means is they have these vaccinated areas on the ships and you have to wear a little bracelet on Royal Caribbean to show if you're vaccinated. And if usually it's been that when you're in those areas, you can um, take off your mask. But since Omicron has come <laughs> to town, they have made it so that even in those areas, they ask you to leave your mask on unless you're seated and actively eating or drinking. And so um, along with that is there's still no smoking in the casinos. And so I just wanted to let you know about that. I don't know how much longer it will last, of course. And clearly they're wanting to get rid of it as quickly as they can. They've just extended it until February 14th. And that's just two weeks from today. Today's January 31st. The next thing that I wanted to let you know about is the MSC Divina, Divina had a cruise that was scheduled to go from Miami um, down to the Panama Canal. It was 12 nights, but now they have canceled that and instead they are going to do three short three and four night cruises just um, to be able to and they're just only going to go down to harvest key which is their private island and so why i'm telling you about that is if you have been wanting to try msc or try that sp particular msc ship this is a great time to do it because those th short three and four night cruises are really affordable and um it's long enough to like try out the food and see the entertainment and see what the ship is like and so um, I'm just throwing that out there to you. I came across that and thought you know what if I lived in Florida I would be on one of those cruises because I would really like to try that out but um, anyway just be aware of that if you want to. Now with the ongoing saga with our Passenger Vessel Services Act and our Let's Go family member that had to cancel a couple of cruises she was doing back to back to back and um, staying she was doing Los Angeles to Vancouver, Vancouver to Seattle, and then round trip um, from Seattle up to Alaska and back. And so um, here's what I have found out. Ruth, our Let's Go family member, said that they, when they traveled, they did a California coast and then they wanted to do Alaska. They had to get off one ship and get on another ship the next day. Because if they were going to end in Seattle, they couldn't end, in, they hadn't left from Seattle, so they had to either be on another ship or they had to wait 72 hours um, before getting back on the same ship again if they wouldn't be returning to the same port in the US. And so keep that in mind as you're scheduling your planning. I've looked and looked and read so much of that Passenger Vessel Services Act. I think I've read the whole thing and I cannot find out. I don't see that wording, but it surely must be a nuance that something in it requires that. And so um, if I can figure it out or I can get more information on it, I will let you know. To be honest, I have not. Um, I called Princess and asked them, but the agent didn't know. She said that they would have to, I would have to talk to somebody in their Passenger Vessel Services Act. And I was um, department, they have a whole department for this. And um, I was on hold for a long time and um, finally just gave up. I had other work I needed to do um, with my phone. And so um, when I can find out, I will let you know. But just know that when you're booking your travel, um, to keep that in mind, like switch to another ship if you want, or allow, you know, a couple of days in port to allow for that 72 hours. So that there, there you go. That's information that I think is actually really valuable. Another thing that I wanted to let you know about is for everyone going to Aruba, we had a Let's Go family member and he wanted to know what to do in Aruba. And so I asked you all and in usual form, you responded um, brilliantly. Thank you. Now, Kim, she says, and these are all our Let's Go family members. So I want to point that out. She says that you would, that they loved going to the California Lighthouse. 
we had our Let's Go family member Irish in USA, and I think I like this one the best. They said that they used the address for the Hyatt Hotel there in Aruba for the address to give to the cab. So they went there, and the beach is like public beach, and so they thoroughly enjoyed walking along the beach. They had lunch at a restaurant that was out over the water. Um, when they were there three years ago, it was $20, so it's not expensive, and just had a fabulous day. They said when it's time to go back to the ship that there at the Hyatt there are always lots of cabs lined up so you just catch a cab and go back to the port. And so that I think was great. We had um, Sue. She has her own channel. She's Solo Sue Travels and she did the De Palma Island tour and really enjoyed that and she said there's a video of it on her channel if you want to go over there and catch that after you watch the rest of this video. But anyway, then Kelly, she said that they've been there twice. She said that the Princess Beach excursion is just extraordinary. She says it's the best. And so that comes highly recommended. She said another time they did a bus tour that took them like to a butterfly farm, to the petroglyphs, to um, an aloe vera factory and aloe vera factory and she said that um, that was fine she didn't say it was particularly wonderful but she didn't say it was bad either and so i wanted to let you know that now we've got some updates from the emerald princess john who is on and is so kind to be keeping us up to date said that last night he went to the captain's circle for the captain's toast and got the official um, number of passengers on board Right now, there are 1,526 passengers, and I love this, from 26 different countries, as well as they've got 1,046 crew members. Now, I take this report as really very encouraging. I think it's a really bright spot that um, there are 20 passengers from 26 countries on board that cruise. That is getting us closer back to the old days, you know, when you would always go hear how many passengers there were and how many countries. This really, I think, represents the fact that travel between countries is getting better and all of these people were able to come here and, to the United States and embark from Fort Lauderdale to go on um, that cruise. And so it makes me excited, hoping that the Europe season will ro roll forward smoothly and that everything will go well with that. So John, thanks for that update. Also, Colette, she and her husband just barely got off of the Emerald Princess right as John was getting on, and she said that they did not have any extra testing on their cruise, and they got to go to all of these ports. They got to go to Princess Key, to Nassau, to Costa Rica, to Panama and Jamaica, and she said that in Jamaica, um, previously you had had to be in an excursion to get off the ship, but they didn't require that this time. You were able to just get off and do whatever you wanted on your own, and she said they were the first ship that has been allowed to do that, and I also find that very hopeful. Now, some of you, I get a lot of questions asking, how long do I think the additional testing is going to last? Um, I think it's important to keep in mind that right now the additional testing is only for cruises to Hawaii at Hawaii's requirement and on these um, Panama Canal cruises. And so I find it really interesting. Colette was just the cruise before John and they didn't have any of that testing. And so I honestly think that the cruise lines will take that testing away as soon as they feel comfortable with it. And I think that the extra testing is indeed linked to Omicron. And as we are seeing those numbers um, go down again, and we're getting closer to being back to normal again, um, I think that testing will go. And so like some people have a cruise book like in March, in mid-April to go on um, the Emerald Princess to go to the Panama Canal. And if I were you, honestly, I would wait until you're closer to 30 days out and see what's going on because um, like today being January 31st, if you're going mid-March, you have still a couple of weeks. If you're going mid-April, you have six weeks to see what happens. And so um, there you go. I personally would just go ahead and go even with the extra testing because quite frankly, um, for those of you who are worried about testing positive, the chance, if you're, if you're vaccinated, and especially if you've got a, a booster, as Omicron recedes, we're going to go back to the place where we rarely, um, you know, Omicron is the first one that has come along that people sometimes would get, even if they were vaccinated and boosted, but we'll be able to go back to where we were, where it's rare that you catch um, COVID. 
if you're vaccinated and boosted. So that worry of testing positive during your cruise, especially if you feel fine, um, will go away as well. And so think about all that. Um, we've also got an update um, from the Majestic Princess. Rich and his wife just got done doing three back-to-back-to-back -back -back cruises on uh, the Mexican Riviera. He said that the weather was beautiful and I love, he says like this, he gave this, shared the sentiment that is like my video that I gave when we were on the cruise ship about you're not going to want to miss cruising right now. And um, so I will link that video to this video. Um, so it's, it'll just be in the box underneath and I'll try to make it come up right after this one. But um, he said that he thinks we're going to look back and remember cruising with just 850 passengers on board and how glorious that was. And so I just wanted to let you know that that seems to be a lot of people's sentiment. All of the people who share as they're getting back from cruises now, everyone has thoroughly enjoyed their time on the ship and their experience. And along with that, he also said that the testing that they had to do between each cruise, um, you know, that's required in between went really smoothly. Uh, the way Princess does it is they just make an appointment for you the day before the next Next embarkation day happens or you know the next day you would have to get off the ship and they test you it goes really smoothly it's not hard at all and Rick also said that the people on board his ship that they everyone was following the protocol so it went really smoothly and so um, thank you Rick I really appreciate you sharing that and if there's any of you who have not seen my video about that um, I'll link it so you, you're gonna want to take a look at that one um, that's one of my favorite ones because it's just happy um, and in connection with that you know I always um, whenever I see cruises when I just log in on my princess um, and I notice that things are on a great deal um, those really good deals I've noticed are extending like through February and partway into March already and so I have noticed that we have got cruises like to um, the west coast uh, like a west coast getaway some of the shorter ones to the California coast to the western and eastern Caribbean and um, Let's see, the one that is departing on February 12th on the Emerald Princess to the Panama Canal is amazingly priced. So if you want to go on one of those cruises, this is an awesome time to do it. And um, also, I have noticed um, it's on my list to try Cunard. So I've just kind of been keeping my eye on those. And if you cruise on Cunard and really love it, <clears throat> or you're wanting to try Cunard, this is like an awesome time to do it. And so um, if any of you, um, you can just log in and look at those. Or if you, of course, have a travel agent, you can ask them. If anybody ever wants me to look and see how much something is, um, or, you know, and the availability on it, you can just send me an email and I'll look at it for you and let you know. And so um, I've got all my, I'll have my email information down there. And you can always just email us. Our let's go travel tips at gmail.com email is down there as well. And so um, I'm just happy to tell you if you, if you ever want to know, you can ask me. And so if you've got any questions about anything, just tuck it in the comments down below. And I really appreciate you sticking with me and watching my videos. If you appreciate this video, will you please give it a thumbs up? And I will be talking, oh, you know what? Let me tell you this too really quick. Tonight at seven, we have a 7 p.m. Mountain Time. We have our live. And so it's at 6 p.m. on um, Pacific Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time and 8 p.m. Central Time. And we just have a lot of fun. We truly, no kidding, have an amazing Let's Go family. Like I would put our Let's Go family members against anybody like against anyone. That's how amazing you all are and for all of those that, of you who don't know. And so come and join us if you can. Um, we'll look forward to seeing you then and I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.